everybody, it's me, Jessica, your health fitness program manager from McLean. I think you can see from that, sorry. And I'm here today to guide you through your Tabata hit circuit. We're gonna go back to a traditional Tabata hit circuit today. So we're gonna have eight rounds of a move, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We're gonna mix some things up for different sets, but unlike other workouts where I big time change around uh, the move as we progress, we're pretty much gonna stick with what we start with, uh, except for the round with um, planks and supermans. Planks and supermans is gonna be some fun, wacky stuff. The great news is the only thing you need for today's workout is some space for yourself, hopefully some water, and if you're uh, luckier than me, keep the air conditioning on. I tried to set it to like 87, but it was already bumping. So I, I turned it off so y'all can hear me. We got two minutes till we get started. I'm gonna get the largest glass of water I can. I recommend you do as well. Right, I've basically got a pickle jar filled with water here. Trying to drink half of your body's weight in water in a day is one of the awesome options in our summer bingo challenge. It's not too late to sign up. We're playing through the end of July. We're asking you as you do get a bingo line, you can get a bingo line in multiple ways, any way you want to. You can do more than one box per day. Let us know. Let's have some fun together this summer, y'all. All right, we've got do to do one more minute till we start our movement. If you have some music that you can put on, put on some music that you love. Let's do this. Speaking of bingo, attending this class, attending a live class, or re-watching one of our classes, either on Facebook or on YouTube, also counts as another box that you can check off. I attend our classes, y'all. You can see me live Fridays, uh, working out with Kenley and the crew on Zoom. Awesome, you can see the floor. All right, it's that magical time, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Today's workout's gonna be challenging because we don't have a lot of rest time. We're gonna move right from one activity to another. We've got that 10 seconds of rest in between. And then of course, you'll get the little bit of time that it takes for me to uh, describe what's actually happening today. As usual, I'll just start with some shoulder rolls, shoulder rolls and lateral side to side. Step taps start to change your breath. Enjoy some nice, big, deep breaths. Get ready to get real sweaty today. Maybe challenge that breath, change direction of those shoulder rolls. And next up, we're gonna go for a big elbow pull while doing some hamstring curls. Look at that, y'all. I remember the name of the activity. Let's go ahead and switch up to it. Pull those shoulder blades together. Try not to overarch your back. So still keeping that abdominal core in nice and tight. Keeping those ribs knit towards each other. Next up, we're gonna do some Frankenstein walks. I like to put an extra couple steps in my Frankenstein walk, so it's like a three-step. We're gonna kick forward and reach towards our opposite toe. Looks like this. Kick, doesn't matter how high or low you kick, and then just switch to the opposite side. You can try pointing your toe, see what that feels like. You can keep that foot flexed. Just doing about 30 seconds for each of the moves in today's warm-up. Can you keep that chest lifted so as you kick forward, make sure you're not crunching down, keep that belly pulled in tight. And if you're kicking a lot lower, that's okay too. Starting to find that stretch on the back of the legs. 
Next up, we're gonna do a bow and arrow. So bring your palms together, feet are planted. You're gonna step that left foot back, draw your left elbow back, turn your head towards the back of the room, turn your head back forward, hands back together. Draw your bow, release it, look behind you, shoulder blades are squeezed together, your chest is open. Bring that elbow in, back to the front. Let's go one more time each side, a little bit faster this time. Next up, we're gonna do some knee pulls. So draw one knee up, you can take that lean back this time, plant it back down, let's get the opposite. Go for five on each side, you can just challenge that balance by squeezing your glutes and getting that little forward push of the hips. Or you're just working to lift that knee up and that is cool as well. Next up, we're going for a low lunge into a squat. So separate those feet out nice and wide. Go ahead, bend that right knee, press the outer edge of the left foot into the floor. Then bend both knees, get low as you pass through to the center to the other side. Move at the pace that's right for you. See if you can stay low, like you're drawing a line with your hips from one side to the other. Get that chest lifted as much as you can, but sending your hips behind you, weight is in your heels. Let's get one more to each side. Go ahead, stand yourself up. We got a nice big rainbow hop. So arms come up and over, hop to the side. Just getting those shoulders a little bit more warmed up. Got a lot of plank-like movements today and a lot of squats today, but we're gonna alternate from one to the other. We're gonna add in some big ab moves to give those legs and arms a little bit of a challenge. I mean, a rest, a rest before we come back and build on. All right, next up we're gonna go from a squat to a dangle. So open your feet a little wider than shoulder width distance apart, turn your toes out, pull your belly in, we're gonna hinge forward. You can always walk your hands a lot further forward if you need to. Going from this dangle, go ahead, bend your knees, come into a squat. Inhale back up to dangle, head hangs down, exhale down to squat. Inhale, back up to dangle, squeeze your shoulder blades together, pull them away from your ears, back down into squat. Let's get two more. And we'll finish up with a nice little stretch to both sides. So while you're staying kind of low, go ahead, step one foot back and open yourself into a twist, getting the world's greatest stretch. If you need to, instead of staying in this lunge, you can always place that back knee down towards the floor after you or come out from your plank and be a little bit more stabilized as you find this twist. We're gonna do one more to each side. Awesome, come back into that plank, walk your hands to your feet or your feet to your hands. Take a moment, shift the weight to your heels, bend your knees as much as you need to, round yourself up. Inhale all the way to the top, and exhale, your arms come down. Grab a quick sip of water if you want it. Let me talk to you about move number one. Um, I'm gonna move this mat for a second, actually, because I can't stand the sound of my feet sticking to it. We don't need it for our first move. We're doing squat jacks. So I want you to think about coming in for a narrow squat. Doesn't have to be super narrow, your feet can be a little bit wider, but you're shifting your hips back behind you, or you're always coming into a mini squat, still shifting those hips back. Then you stand up and jack. So just squat, jack, squat and hold, jack. Squat and hold, jack. So it's almost like a three count for a move. Oh, I see my shirt's coming on top, so I'm gonna tuck it in. All right, if you need to take the jump out, we're gonna squat, Step and reach, but still really work on holding that squat. All right, we start in three, two, one, begin. Just 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. So as you come into the squat, you shift the weight into your heels. And if you can get a little bit more height, I have to do a really reserved little teeny tiny jump. You know, I get so scared when I jump in here. All right, we got a 10 second rest. Set yourself up. Three, two, 
one, begin again. Squat and hold, jack. Can you bring that to that narrower squat? So you're really stepping your feet out and in. Otherwise, remember, step it out, bring it back in. You can always press up onto your toes. It's a little bit of a different, take a break, balance challenge. Two rounds down, only six to go. Get your heart rate up to begin. Two, one, go for it. Squat, jack. Make sure as you come down, you really shift the weight to your heels. Don't let it stay in the balls of your feet. Nice flat back. Take your break. And if you need to move a little bit slower, you're welcome to move a little bit slower. <laughs> Three, two, begin. As you're starting to get a little bit warmer, explore if maybe you can even send your hips a little bit lower. Yes, take a break halfway through. We got push-ups coming up right after this. Two, one, begin. Oh, my shirt tucked in looks awesome. Drives me crazy. I hate it. Let's try and fix it. Just a teeny, just a teeny bit. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, begin. Keep pulling that belly in as well. Keep that core contracted the best you can. Two more rounds, y'all. Three, two, one, begin. Just about 30 seconds total of work to go of this move for today. I want you to finish out as strong as you can. Bring that weight to your heels. Make sure you're sitting low one more time through. Three, two, one. Let's do it. If you need an extra break and you want to hang out in the squat, hey, you do you. We made it. Get your mat out. If you need a quick sip of water, make it a quick little sip because we got push-ups coming up. And I don't, I want the only thing coming up to be your upper body, not the water. Okay, so you're gonna lead with your chest. You're not leading with your belly. Push-ups, any style you want. Two, one, begin. So maybe you're on your knees like me. You walk those knees back. I want you to find a challenging pace for yourself. This is just round one, take a break. And if you want to send your hips back towards your heels and stretch your shoulders and stretch your lower back between rounds, go for it. Remember, you've only got 10 seconds. Begin. You can send those elbows towards your hips and make these a tricep focused push up. Hands, palms come right in line with your chest as you go down. You can really burn into those triceps. Take a break. Uh, if you want to slow your push-up down, so on your way down, maybe you take a stop or two. Begin. And you can do that from tabletop. You can still press into your hands, palms, pause, pause, 
pause, push up. Elbows are still coming behind you to your hips. Let's do this. As long as you are still moving, as long as you are finding some engagement, it does not matter how straight your body is. I'd rather your chest come down and you be in tabletop than your belly come down and you lose out on the upper body work. Begin. I tell you, these pause push-ups, I feel them the next day. I don't love them. Oh my gosh. But I know they're doing something. Take that break. Halfway, halfway, we get to lay down on our backs after this, so work that upper body. Just over one minute to go. Ready? Begin. Oh my gosh, it is hot in here. No excuses though. Huh. Okay. One minute left. Ready? Begin. last round through. Sorry, last two rounds. Still really working to bring that chest down and forward. Still feeling it in those triceps. Triceps, upper back. Those drawn in abs too. Awesome, we got one more, one more round, one more round. Challenge yourself, do the hardest thing, because remember we get to lay down on our backs after this. You can always walk those knees in if you need to. Begin. between two moves on the evens and odds here. We're going for leg lifts. If you can't do a leg lift, you can do toe taps. Uh, and between the leg lift, we're gonna go for a hollow body hold. I'm gonna talk you through some options of how we can work that if you're not ready for the total hollow body hold. So enjoy this extra break for a second. While we do these ab moves, you're welcome to tuck your thumbs close to your bum. Focus on keeping that lower back on the floor. If your lower back starts to lift up, change the move. Do something a little bit easier for yourself to keep that lower back down and stabilize and those abs nice and tight. All right, lay yourself down. So you can always just go for some toe taps on the floor, even one leg at a time. If you can straighten those legs out a little bit more, we're working to get those heels closer to the mat. Begin. Awesome. So thumbs by your bum are going to help you to feel a little bit more supported. If you want to challenge yourself even more though, if you don't need your thumbs by your bum, you can always bring your arms out to the side. If you want to challenge yourself even more, you can stretch those arms up overhead. Awesome. Take a break. Next up, we've got that hollow body hold. So you're going to extend your legs out, extend your arms out, press your lower back into the floor, lift yourself up. Can you lift your feet up as well? If your lower back is already starting to arch, bring your feet down, focus on keeping that lower back down and your shoulders lifted. Can you lift one leg up while pressing the opposite heel into the floor? Do you feel that still engaging those abs? Awesome. Take a break. Next up, coming back to those leg lifts or toe taps. Remember which leg you had lifted. If it was only one, we'll do the opposite next time and begin. So lower back stays to the floor. Maybe you uh, 
are challenging yourself, lower back stays to the mat, but you can only drop your legs so much, and that's okay too. Drop your legs to the point where you start to feel the compensation of that lower back lifting. And if you're lucky, you can get it all the way down towards the mat. Take a break. Try not to use momentum to swing those legs back up. You're using those lower abs. Ready for that hollow hold. Extend your arms, pull your belly in, lift. Awesome, take that break. Maybe you draw your knees into your chest, still keeping that lower back down. Give yourself some circles. We're back to our leg lifts. We're halfway through. Begin. Remember, there is no shame of tucking your thumbs right by your glutes so that your forearms are helping to be supportive. Maybe you need to switch to dropping one leg at a time. Make sure you're still breathing. Take a break. Coming back to that hollow body hold. Take a deep inhale, press your lower back down, lift it up. Not your lower back, lift up your legs, lift up your hands. I'm gonna bring the foot to the floor because I feel my low back starting to arch. Make sure you're still breathing, not holding your breath. Take a break, back to those leg lifts. Last time for leg lifts. drawn in the lower back down on the mat you can lift those shoulders a little bit higher still challenge those abs still find lots of challenge but be smart for your body so just make sure that lower back is down all right now we finish that interval three rounds down take your time make your way to your feet we're coming back to squats y'all squat 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 All right, we got a squat hold. Coming up next, starting off with a narrow squat. A narrow squat, we're just gonna hold it down there. You can extend your arms forward to help you with balance. We got 20 seconds down. Plant your feet, knees in the same direction as your toes. Here we go, three, two, one, begin. Just gonna put that timer down. Extend those hands forward. And you sit a little bit lower in your seat, send those hips behind you. Take a little lift of that chest. Make sure that your knees aren't going out or in, that you're not rolling to the outer or inner edges of your feet. And stand yourself up. You can shake it out. We're going to do the same exact move again. Three, two, one, begin. So find a spot to focus your eyes, kind of like in a diagonal angle so you don't have to have too much extra wrinkling of your neck. Shoulders can release away from your ears. Send those hips back. Three, two, one. Lift yourself up. Awesome. Now if you would like, you're welcome to add a hop back in to your squat. Three, two, one. So you can go down, hop. I want you to find that low hold. Pressing up off those toes. We got one more narrow squat after this. If you don't want to hop, you're just holding at the bottom. Take a break. One more time, same thing. Or challenge yourself. 
Give yourself a hop. You can always come low again. If the hopping don't work, begin. So still squat, hop. Use those arms. But you're still trying to land in control. You're landing or you're pressing up onto your toes. Another option. Like you live on the second floor and the guy who lives below you is crazy. <laughs> awesome. Next up, we're going to go for a goddess squat. I'm getting so sweaty. So open those legs nice and wide. Point your toes out. Sit yourself down. Make sure that your hips aren't going whoa, behind you. So you're pressing those knees out nice and wide. You're working to have that chest lifted as well. Do your best to stack shoulders on top of your hips. Sit down a little lower. Three, two, one. Stand yourself up, shake it out. Some hip circles might feel good here. Oh my gosh. Come on back to that static hold. Begin. Sink a little bit lower, in control. Now I know it's, this is not an easy position to hop from. So we're not gonna hop next time. Lift yourself up. We're gonna do a controlled pulse. Intentional lift, intentional lower. Ready, begin. Here we go. Press through your heels, lower through your heels. Lift, squeezing those glutes and lower. Just coming about halfway up. Five seconds left, you got this, you're worth it. Take a break. Woo. <laughs> One more time through, then we get to come down to the floor for a plank series, which I get to explain. Come on down. So either stay here or a little lift, glute squeeze, a little lower. A little lift, a little lower. Can you go a little bit lower as you lower? Two seconds left. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Wow. Shake it out. Shake it out. Grab that quick sip of water if you want, but we're inverting again, so keep it minimal. Okay. Now, I know you know what a plank looks like. So we're going to be doing some planks. Between our planks, we have a couple different moves. I'm gonna show them to you real fast like so that no one's confused when we get started. All right, first up, we got our plank, then we're going to do, I don't have enough room in this direction, Superman's. Everything lifts and everything lowers. If you cannot lift everything at the same time, feet stay down, upper body lifts. If you are space challenged, you can bend your elbows. The next move that we're going to do the next time we swim is the breaststroke. So elbows drive together and then arms go straight ahead of you. Elbows drive, arms go straight. So it's a constant challenge, especially that second time. We're not lowering our arms down to the ground. Um, after that, we're gonna do alternate swimming arms. I'll turn this way. Alternate swimming arms. So finding a little bit more of a reach, but with a row of that elbow. So combining the two moves. And then our last move, uh, we're gonna stay in the plank and find a forward reach. But we're starting with the plank. And y'all, it's just 20 seconds of work at a time. Lost the timer. Are you ready? We start in three, two, one. Let's do forearm planks, forearm plank. So try not to have those glutes super high in the air. You're shifting the weight forward so that your heels stack about on top of the balls of your feet, maybe a little towards the back of the room. Three, two, one. Lower yourself down 10 seconds to stretch those arms all the way out. Up to you if you want to have your feet together or separate, ready for Superman's. Begin. Lift and lower. Lift and lower, use your breath. Exhale to come up, inhale to come down. But I want you to move the full length of your breath. So it's not just a quick inhale where you throw your body up. Uh-oh, foot cramp. 
take a break. All right, coming back to that plank, another plank, another forearm plank. Three, two, one, lift yourself up. Breathe through it. Keep that belly pulled in, getting some ab work while we're getting this back work in. Three, two, one, lower yourself down. Next up, we're gonna go for that elbow drive. So arms start in front of you, eye gaze down, draw your elbows back, bring them forward. You can keep those legs lifted to constantly stress that lower back a little bit more. Or if your lower back's really tired, plant those feet on the floor. Use your exhale to find that extra lift. Awesome, back to our plank. Ready? Three, two, lift up. Next up, we've got those alternating swimmers. Lower yourself down, belly on the floor. Oh my gosh, send those arms forward, get ready to swim it out. And then switch. Can you flutter your feet just like you were swimming? Oh. Still breathe. All right, we're gonna challenge ourselves. Wait, the next one's the last plank, right? No, we got one more regular plank, one more forearm plank. Oh man, go for it. And then we're gonna do a straight arm plank. Awesome. Come into that straight arm plank and I want you to see if you can find a little forward reach. I want you to be careful because your mat's probably a little sweaty. Begin. See if you can reach that hand forward. Maybe you just gently tap it towards a sweat spot you see on your mat. You can open your feet a little wider for a more stable base. You can always bring those knees to the floor. You made it. Okay. Grab an extra sip of water. Y'all, I'm gonna give you a minute to yourself. I'm gonna give you a minute to yourself. I lost the timer. When I said a minute, I really meant a minute and a half. We are doing awesome time-wise. I want you to slow your breath down a little bit. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we were gonna do this next one twice. Shouldn't have given you that minute. It's okay. You're worth it, we're all worth it. All right, so next up we're gonna get that cardio heart rate up a little bit. I know you're probably already starting to feel a little bit tired, and then I'm gonna challenge your balance. One of my favorite moves coming up, we're running in place. And I want you to really drive that knee up using those abs. But if you can't drive that knee up, you're just gonna tap, a tap, a tap, a tap that toe forward. Okay, we only got, we're gonna do four rounds of running. So if you wanna add that hop in, you can start with that hop at the beginning. What is on my, what is that? What? Oh, that's very weird. Okay, very weird, okay. We can move this out of the way because we don't need it right now. 
Awesome. So pick whichever leg you would like to start with. I have lost the timer. I have found the timer. Sticking with that leg for all four rounds. Our balance move is basically a single leg squat touchdown or a single leg Romanian deadlift. You're gonna reach with your opposite hand towards whichever stabilizing leg you had. Touch as close to your ankle as you can, then drive the opposite knee up, touch to the outside of your ankle. So really challenging your abs and challenging your balance. Starting off with running for four rounds in three, two, one, begin. So find that knee drive, maybe add in that hop. I'm adding in a hop on every third drive. Awesome, take a break. Three more rounds just like that. Same leg, same leg. Three, two, one, begin. So you're still working to land with control. You're not just slamming this foot down on the floor. You're not slamming this back leg down either. So if you need to just control tap a tap a tap a with a bend in your stabilizing leg and focus on, take a break, keeping the weight in your heel, finding a little squeeze of this glute. Your stabilizing leg is the one that's really getting the brunt of the work here. Ready, begin. So remember you can always Tap a tap a tap a to focus on feeling the engagement, your quad, your hamstring. You can speed it up, and that's where the cardio portion starts to come in. You can always sit a little bit lower if you're not feeling it. Awesome, we got one more time just like that. I'm feeling it. Three, two, one, or remember, you can always add in that. I'm going for a soft touchdown of this back toe to the floor though. So that I'm really using my core to help slow things down as opposed to my foot actually touching on the carpet. Oh my gosh, next up we've got that balance move. So the same leg that you just had, stay still, stay still. We reach towards it and then knee drive, here we go. Maybe you can only touch the outside of your knee and then you touch the outside of your knee. But if you can reach down and tap at the ankle and tap at the ankle, do it. Take a break. Really focus on using that exhale to help you drive this knee forward as well. And if you're having trouble getting down to the floor, Begin. You can always bring that back toe down to stabilize gently. That didn't help me much. And then drive it up. So either super balance, no back toe on the floor, or bringing that back toe down just to help. If you need it, if you're still reaching over yourself. Oh my gosh, take a break. Two down. Two to go. Ready, begin. So as you come down, make sure that the weight doesn't switch to the ball of your foot and your hip is still driving behind you. This is like a secret squat. Secret squat. One more time through on this side. Three, two, one belly in, make sure that belly stays in nice and tight because you are finding this forward hinge here that's gonna help you for bracing, for keeping your back feeling good. Remember, if you can't get all the way to the floor, that's okay. You can always just tap the knee and tap the knee. Just work to drive that leg up a little bit and as you hinge forward, oh, you're driving those hips back. Oh my gosh, shake it out. When the beeps end, we're coming right into the opposite leg. We're getting a little barren there too at the end. We just won't get eight rounds. All right, ready? I am sweating and I smell. Opposite arm and leg work together, begin. So remember weight is in your standing leg heel. It is a light tap 
of that back toe to the floor. And if you want, you can, oh, you can add in that hop. Oh. oh my gosh, my calf is exhausted. And I feel that calf when we add in that hop because you're pressing up onto your toe and it's engaging. Ready? Press into your heel, belly in. Remember, you can still tap a tap a tap a if this knee drive is a little too much and your abs are a little too tired. Find this quick tap a tap a tap a. It is barely putting weight in this moving leg though. Barely putting weight in the moving leg. Awesome. Two more times through. If you're not feeling it, what do you do? Sit down lower. That is correct. Ready? Begin. Look, halfway. Use those arms to help you if you're getting that jump in. Oh my gosh. One more time, one more time. Now we got balance move, then we're gonna hit the floor for one more little bit of abs. We're gonna take a full five minutes to stretch though, because you're worth it. Here we go. Oh wait, this is balance. Balance already, hinge forward, tap. Now make sure as you do this forward hinge that you are sending those hips behind you and the weight is in your heel. That is correct, not towards, take a break. The ball of the foot. Did I mess up? Did, I, did, we, did we skip our running one? I don't know. Let's go again. I've only been using this timer for like four years. Counting is so hard. Remember, both sides of the body are not the same. So one side of this might be really easy and the other side, take a break. Might be a little bit hard. You've also already been working this leg. You made it move. Now you're making it stabilize. Ready? Go for it. I think I did. I think I skipped a round of running. Hopefully you at home were like, no, I owe you one more of these. And you, oh my gosh, you already got it in. Find that spot to focus your eyes. Right. If your eyes are moving, your mind is moving, and it makes it a lot harder to balance. Wow, look at that t-shirt sweat. That is impressive. Okay, last two rounds. So you can either stick with this balance move, if you erroneously joins me in starting it early, or, oh my gosh, we can be honest with ourselves and add in one more. Take a break, round of running. What are you gonna do? What do you think I'm gonna do? Probably the phrase being honest with ourselves was a good clue there. I hope you're doing whichever one you did not want to do the most. Because whichever one that was is definitely the one your body needs the most. Awesome. Okay. Y'all, we're going to make six minutes left of work. Well, one minute left of work and six minutes total together. Because we're getting in one more ab move, but we're doing one minute of bear. So come on down to your mats. Last minute of work, come on into tabletop. Tuck those uh, toes under. Get ready to lift your knees up off the floor in three, two, one, begin. All right, so you can either just keep those knees lifted off the floor. Maybe you take a little bit of a walk forward and backward. Maybe you hang out right here and just lift your knees and lower your knees. Maybe you add in a shoulder tap. If you don't have it in you to walk forward and backward on the mat, I want you to keep those knees as close to the mat as you can. Just find in a slight little hover. This is our longest interval of the day, I know. It's three times as long as any other interval that we've done. But the good news is you're two thirds of the way through. So as long as you just have those knees, oh my gosh, hovering off the mat. We got 10 seconds left. 
five, four, three, two, one. Release your knees down to the mat, send your hips back towards your heels. Open those knees nice and wide. Walk those hands forward. Release your head down to the floor. Start to slow your breath down. If you can, tent your fingers and press the pads of the fingers into the mat as you send your glutes closer towards your heels. Really take any rounding out of your lower back. Find a little extra length. Bring your hands back down to the floor. Lift your chest up, back to tabletop. Tuck your toes under, send your hips towards the ceiling. Pedal through your heels. Get that big stretch through your calves. Oh my gosh. Belly comes closer towards your thighs. If you're like me, your arms are tired. They might be trembling a little right now, so start to walk your hands to your feet. Walk your feet to your hands. Yeah. Um, bring that little bend to your knees. Find that stretch as you separate your shoulders and your belly can even rest on your thighs to create a table to help you separate those shoulders a little bit. Oh, let your head dangle to the floor. Take a moment, shake it. No, do it slowly. See the big stretch that comes to your upper back, maybe even a little to that mid back as you bring your chin to each shoulder. Take a moment, shake your head. Yes. Yes, you're so proud of yourself for coming. All right, slowly roll yourself up. One vertebrae at a time. Inhale those arms up overhead. Big stretch to the ceiling. Exhale, relax your arms down by your side. Let's get some big hip circles going because we got a lot of squats today. So I want you to just make a big circle leading with the knee. First, draw that knee up, out, back, and down. Let's get three more times in this direction. I am incredibly sweaty here. And I couldn't even count to three just now. I got confused. Let's go ahead and switch directions. Just working in the range of motion that works for you. Maybe you have your hands on your hips. Maybe you're feeling real wobbly. And you go ahead and you use another surface that you have around here. Awesome. Can't even talk right now. Let's get a nice quad stretch. So switch the weight into one of your legs. Bring the other leg back behind you. Point that knee down towards the floor. Once again, you can always be using a surface. I'm gonna switch legs because I can't really demonstrate that. Oh my gosh. You can like see where I just had my belly on my thighs and there's like a sweat mark from that too. Uh, think about really squeezing your glutes, bringing your hip forward, and pointing that knee down and back so you actually feel the opening of the hip and the little stretch in the quad. And then let's just go ahead and switch to the opposite leg. Oh, excellent. Go ahead, come into a split lunge. So we're getting another nice stretch through. Um, our calf as you work to press that back knee down towards the floor. Interlace your fingers and stretch those knuckles towards the wall behind you. Can you even bring your hands palms together? It's okay if you can't, just giving you an option to find a little bit deeper of a stretch. I want you to release that stretch. And we're going to change uh, the way our legs are. So go ahead, walk your back leg in, take a bend of that knee, send your hips behind you, flex the toes of your front foot back towards your face. Get a nice stretch in that hamstring, a little in that calf again. Stand yourself up and let's change. Switch your feet, come in back into that lunge position, press your back foot back. This time interlace your fingers in front of you, press those hands, palms forward. One more opportunity to separate through those shoulders. Inhale, arms up overhead. Step your back foot in. Take a bend of that back leg. Press through your straightened front leg. Send your hips behind you. Toes flex up towards your face and your shin. Awesome. Step your feet together. Take a generous bend of your knees. Tuck your chin to your chest. Roll yourself up once more. Inhale, your arms all the way up overhead. Stretch through one side. Stretch through the other. 
back through center, relax your arms down. Yes, that was today's Tabata hit circuit. Back to that Tabata, true Tabata format. I hope everyone who came had a delightful, sweaty time. I hope that we all feel this tomorrow, feel good, and keep coming back. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Whew.